Hey everyone, hope that you are having a great day and that things are good for you. It's a good beginning of the week for you. And today we're going to look at six chapters in Isaiah, chapters 28 through 33. There's a lot going on, but a lot of it is really kind of the same of what we've heard before. It's, it's oracles, it's proclamations that are really against the people of Israel. And, and especially it's called Ephraim and, and Jerusalem. And we find that in 28. And, and just to read verse 1, uh, it says, Ah, the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley of those overcome with wine. And then in verse 3, the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim will be trodden underfoot, and the fading flower of its glorious beauty, which is on the head of the rich valley, will be like a first ripe fig before the summer. When someone sees it, he swallows it as soon as it is in his hand. And that's kind of a metaphor for what's going to happen to the land. It's going to be swallowed up. The Assyrians are going to come to take the north, the Babylonians to the south. And the times are not going to be good. And that's what we hear in chapters 28 through 33. But even in the midst of all that, we still hear good news. In chapter 29 and verse 13, And the Lord said, Because this people draw near with their mouth and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their fear of me is a commandment taught by men. So that's the negative side. People are worshiping, but they're giving God lip service. But God says, I will again do wonderful things with this people, with wonder upon wonder, and the wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the discernment of their discerning men shall be hidden. But it's God who is going to cause the goodness. It is God who is the one who's going to come back. God says, I will still do wonderful things with this people. And that's an image that we need to hold on to, that even in the midst of the bad, even when we see some of the things that we see in our lives, in our world, we know that God still wants to do good. God has not given up on us. He has not given up on his people because they are a rebellious people. And yet we can go back. And in verse 30, chapter 32, in verse 1, we see Isaiah writing, Behold, a king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule in justice. Each will be like a hiding place from the wind, a shelter from the storm, like streams of water in a dry place, like the shade of a great rock in a weary land. That's part of the good news. The coming Messiah. He will come. He will be the one who is our Redeemer. And so it's just a reminder. I know Isaiah might be, this might be kind of dry. It might be kind of hard. Uh, we're about, we're halfway through the book of Isaiah now. But even in the midst of all this rebellion, all these people who are wicked, who have turned from God, there is still always the glimmer of hope that the people have. And it should be a reminder for us of the hope that we have in Christ. So, hopefully you can hold on to that. That's good news. That's great news. God bless you and have a great night.